I've been really, really busy with studying and chem especially has been really hitting it hard for me. For anyone that may be new here, to give you guys some context as to who I am, I'm an international student at Peking University. This is my first year. I'm in the Rempe College and I'm currently on the economics track, but that may change. And I'm taking chemistry because I am considering transferring to the medical branch. I'll probably talk about that in a little bit more detail in another video, but today I'm going to be kind of showing you guys how I learn chemistry or how I'm doing it right now because I'm very behind in terms of like the foundational knowledge in chemistry because I only took it one year, sophomore year in high school, and that was in English. And so it was very like entry level chemistry. And right now we're learning like very sophisticated college level chemistry and it's in Chinese and Mandarin. So I'm having a very difficult time, I would say, to process and understand what this teacher is saying. So in China, a really big thing is you see. So it's like before you go into the lesson, like you look over the material and content that the professor is going to be talking about. And so I'm trying to start doing that a little bit more. And for me especially, it's super important so that I can kind of like understand the material and translate everything that I need beforehand. But so I have three highlighters that I typically use in color. And so for like important key vocab terms, I highlight with pink and then for any kind of like principles I highlight in blue and then any other additional detail information it's like this yellow and I have another set of like very similar matching base colors that I use when I'm not at home and I'm at school so it's just kind of how I organize things and here's my textbook I'm sure I've shown you guys this in another video um, in that one video where I talked about how my first week is going so I have my textbook here and then I have highlighters pen this is my planner, but that's besides the point. Right now, I think the strategy that I've adopted is I'm going, right now I'm reviewing um, chapter five because that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow in class. And so I'm just going through and highlighting, as you can see, like previous chapters, I can show you kind of like the notes that I've made and like the highlights and like the translations and important things that I need to know. So I'm going over the acid base stuff right now because that's what we're going to be learning and so i have like a kind of foundational knowledge of this like ionization theory and here i put the definition of ionization in english here so that i like know what i'm talking about because honestly my chemistry foundation i like forgot a lot of it a bit of it but i did some khan academy over the summer but it didn't really help too much for example right here it there's like a phrase that i don't really understand and so i i read it and then i put it into google translate so that i can kind of like process it and then I write down the definition here so that way I can look back at it easier and understand. Um, right now I'm kind of processing what's going on here but it's just a little bit difficult I would say to like completely, <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice, to completely like understand everything. So yeah let me just like really simply go through kind of like what I'm doing. This morning I have started doing something where I like actually read out what I'm reading because I also realized after I did an interview for Guangbo for broadcasting my ability to read Chinese out loud is actually not that great so I'm practicing that too. So like for this phrase it's 溶液中酸碱反应的食指是功和酸碱对之间的质子转移过程 and that means essence of acid base reaction in solution is proton transfer process between conjugate acid and base pairs and so like i have that now and then i wrote that down and we're just going to keep going 若酸给出质子的能力越强则其功和碱接受质子的能力就越弱反之亦然 so that means if the proton the acid gives out like the strength is stronger then the conjugate base the proton that it receives like it's going to be weaker i think that's what it's saying let me just double check on that so it means the stronger the ability of an acid to donate a proton the weaker its ability to accept a proton so if an acid is able to it has a strong ability to donate a proton then its ability to accept is weaker. I guess that makes sense. Okay, let me just write that down because my understanding, my Lydia was not right the first time. But so it, I think it just, I think this is actually kind of helpful. And also reading it out loud to myself is, I, I think it's going to help in terms of like me being able to process and read things faster. It's something that I literally started doing like half an hour ago, probably not even. But I guess I just wanted to share that little strategy and so if anybody else like an international student i feel like even no matter what language like 
if you're learning something that's not in your first language, it's always going to be very difficult, especially if it's like a sophisticated concept. So this is just like kind of a study <clears throat> strategy, I guess, that I might recommend. Of course, I'm still experimenting with this myself, so um, I recommend just like trying out what works for you. So if anybody that's an international student or considering studying abroad um, and learning in a different language, <clears throat> then this might be something... I would recommend and if you guys are interested in learning more study tips for learning a different language um, please let me know and I will hopefully make some of those too and I'm honestly very behind in video editing so I'm like I'm like weeks behind and it's already like three weeks into school but I'm just gonna continue learning like this I also realized I didn't show you guys how I highlight so here is an example I'm reviewing 5.2 now and so this is like a term right kw and this is like the definition of what it is it's um, the ionic product constant, which I actually probably should write. So, Li Zi Ji Chang Shu. This explanation, Jian Cheng Shui the Li Zi Zhi. So, that's like additional information, so I would highlight that in yellow here. And then, Shi Shui the Dian Li Chang Shu. So, ionization constant. And also, another thing is when I like when I read the word, but then like I don't know how to even like write the ping for that word to like Google Translate it. I do have the option of like taking a picture and translating it, but I tend to like to like use my phone and just use the Shoshia function, which is like where you can like draw it out with your hand and handwrite it and then it um, pulls up that word for you. And so that way I like kind of learn what that word is and then in the future I'll know how to read that word and so it'll help me kind of learn words. But that happens quite frequently actually. So in that instance I can't like directly type it into my laptop because I don't know what that word is. So I use my phone and I would show you guys but I'm recording on my phone. So I do have another phone but I it's charging right now so I'm a little bit too lazy to get it. But I hope you guys like know what I mean and if not I'll show you guys in another video. So yeah, this chapter is relatively long, so I'm probably just gonna do a little bit more of that. So overall, I would say that learning chemistry and learning a different subject, like a very complex, high-level, college-level subject in a different language is definitely not easy. And it's definitely been very difficult for me to kind of adjust my learning style and the way that I process information in a different language as well. And I'm honestly struggling quite a bit right now because I feel like in class everyone understands things while I'm like staring at the PowerPoint thinking to myself, what the frick is going on? And it's just like, it's not the easiest feeling because I mean, I, I've never been like the smartest person in the room, but I also have never been... I've never felt so lost, I guess. So for chemistry, I'm just trying to figure out like the different tactics that I can use to maximize my ability to understand what I'm learning and remember what I'm learning and kind of build up those foundational skills slowly so that eventually I'm able to learn things myself without having to rely on Google Translate and I'm able to like match up things and terms in Chinese and be able to be completely functional in the language, I guess, in terms of learning. And I'm still pretty far away from that, but this is just the strategy that I'm currently using. If you guys have any tips or suggestions or just any comments on my, on my um, learning method, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.